it up here, guys. Casa Baclo. Baby. Oh, Mira. Mira. <laughs> this is the end of our visit at Casa Baclo. Hama. Yep. Yuppie. Whoa, look at this. Yay, Tenga. Just finished visiting Casa Batlo. I mean, the house inside, you know, how Gaudi's creations are. And yeah, it's cool how they have these monitors, like tablets, and then they'll explain to us what each room is and how it used to look like. Like you can actually scan the room and see how it used to look like back then. And yeah. Um, Overall, it's nice for me. I personally like 
the outside it looks so pretty outside inside it's very simple some of his architecture masterpiece are also very unique as always you know and yeah i think is it i think that's the last um place that we're gonna visit that's that's his creation and it's just very nice very inspiring as well very unique and yeah now we're gonna where are we going just gonna walk we're not gonna swim uh just chill there and have After eating our brunch, we're here because he wants to get his churros. churros, the proper one at least, with the Nutella drip, Nutella dip, drip. <laughs> so cool. It's a topping circus. Nutella. Yum yum. So guys, got the churros. He's a happy boy. It's good, but it's just so filling, like so full. And we're now walking to the Barcelona beach. Is it called Barcelona beach, Tony? Barcelona. Barceloneta. Barceloneta. But yeah, the weather has been amazing yesterday and especially today. I'm gonna miss Barcelona a lot. I feel like Barcelona made a huge impact of my trip. Yeah. And yeah, guys, it's sad that we won't be able to swim here. But hopefully the weather in Switzerland is similar to this weather so that we can swim looking forward to switzerland like switzerland is also my top bucket list honestly like way even before the k-drama crash landing on you because many people want to go switzerland now because of that k-drama but i don't know switzerland is like another it's like in another world or another dimension they say so yeah and we're gonna go paragliding in switzerland i feel like oh wait a moment mm. i feel like um uh, sorry especially when traveling you guys you go all out when you travel as you know i know that yeah like you don't get to do this every time or even if you can do that in your hometown or somewhere cheaper but Switzerland is just and that's like my birthday treat to myself and for him because we're summer babies Leos so looking forward to it you guys that's one. so full baby that's one. so full that's one. Come on. <laughs> Mm, 
doing so good. But yeah, guys, once we arrive at the beach, we'll show you around. So guys, we've arrived at the beach. So nice the weather. How I wish we could sweat. So good. If it's hot, you don't sweat. <coughs> and like, it doesn't burn. Like the sun here doesn't burn you like the sun in Hong Kong. Yeah. Look at it. Wow, it's Rock clothes. No, actually, we plan to go back to the hotel and then change it and come all the way back. But then I was thinking we're already nearby. Want to just take a stroll and the swimming? We'll do it in Switzerland, as I mentioned earlier. It's just very nice. It makes you want to swim right now. Hey guys, good afternoon. Um, Jake and I earlier we went back to the hotel. We're so tired, like we woke up. I think this is the earliest we've woken up yeah. in Barcelona and the weather was so perfect, so sunny and we've walked a lot from the beach. And then... Um, we decided to take a rest. Yeah. Charge. Yeah, because tonight we're gonna watch a flamenco show. It's a traditional like Spanish. Spanish like a dance like you know like the girl with the red, red dress emoji and yeah and then um, we bought the ticket that's in the middle and then we have free drinks that show is for an hour so our show is at seven now it's like five something so we're gonna go our last um spanish. last yeah. spanish meal um yeah it's actually recommended by Tito Love's dear friend that we met last night. His name is Juan and his partner. And yeah, they said like it's one of the best Spanish restaurants here in Barcelona. So we're gonna check it out. And yeah, we'll keep you guys updated on what we're gonna eat for our early dinner. We've arrived at our destination, La Flauta. This is how it looks when you enter and like they said last night there's always a line but the process is quick are you ready to try it babe? si sí. si? Sí? claro? claro well, guys we don't have to wait like it's just less than 5 minutes and we are ready to order our food so we're having this one, the first dish. It's codfish with al alioli. alioli. So codfish with honey alioli. alioli. Ah, there you go. We have the mini barbecue with clams, muzzles, and broth. Guys, we skip for dessert because it's time for us to go to the flamingo show in a bit so we gotta eat this and then time to go guys right now we're headed to the flamingo show with our free drink and um yeah like we just had the, the mini barbecue the codfish honey with Alioli and the dessert called Joha uh, something. Something. <laughs> Joha. Yeah. Some. But yeah, again, he said it tasted Saint like. Teresa. And then, um, yeah, uh, that dessert was delicious. I think it's just right, you know. And then, and then, like we'll be drinking at the flamingo show. I'm very excited to see it. Um, but yeah, I don't think we can video it, right? No. But anyways, if you guys are curious, what? <laughs> I saw the lady. Uh, anyway, if you guys are curious about what a flamingo show is like, you can search it up online. Yep. I can also link the description below of where we purchase the tickets, and yeah, like just see it for yourself if you guys 
ever come to Barcelona. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's get to the show. Here we are, guys. We're gonna go in. You can actually record here or take pictures, just no flash, but we want to take this moment to just enjoy the show without recording. So, yeah, we'll keep you guys updated how the show went. So, guys, we're done with the flamenco, it is amazing, spectacular, it's amazing. Like. She cried. All, all, all throughout the show, I was tearing up. I cried. Like it doesn't matter if you understand what what the singers are singing. You know, like you just feel the emotion, and like they're all so passionate. Like from the singers to the musicians to the dancers, and then all of them just aligned. You know, and it's just oh my guys. Oh my guys! Oh my god! Like, she's off her oh, like it's just spectacular. They're so passionate, and it's just so much talent, you know. So, if you guys are coming to Barcelona or you plan to come here, please, please, please go see the flamenco show. Like, it's just bravo, amazing, amazing, amazing. amazing. So now we're gonna head home. We have to start packing because our flight is at 6.40 a.m. And we have to wake up around 3 a.m. And yeah, that early, there's no transportation yet, I suppose. So we have to book a car to get to the airport. And yeah, it's just Barcelona for now. Barcelona has captured my heart. Like the weather, the activities we've done throughout these four full days. Like we always have something to do, you know, even though we have to wake up early, like always tired in the morning, it's worth it, you know? So thank you so much, Barcelona. And hopefully Switzerland can, can, how do you say this? Can top up Barcelona. Cause I really love Switzerland as well, but you know, Switzerland is more of a different vibe. It's more chill, nothing, you know, but yeah. Um, I've also booked some activities or things to do beforehand you know my advice really if you're gonna travel anywhere it's best to book the activities either six months or four months before so that all you have to spend is just transportation food or shop yeah shopping right and yeah just it's a lot you know smoother Plan ahead. Plan ahead and Jacob knows this. I am such a perfectionist. I love to plan ahead. And yeah, it's just it's just so nice. Yeah. I just love Barcelona. So um we'll definitely yeah, come back. that concludes our night. And we'll see you on the next vlog yeah. of see us getting to Switzerland, Zurich. Bye! Bye.